Hello everyone, happy Monday. Welcome to Savings with Stephanie. Today is Walgreens Day. Today is the day that I shop at Walgreens for my weekly Walgreens haul. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad that you found me. I try to show you ways to save money on your everyday household items at Walgreens, CVS, and sometimes Walmart. If this is something you're interested in, I would love for you to be a part of my channel. Hit that red subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you can be notified every time I post new videos and if you like this video give it a thumbs up so that I know that I should continue to do videos like this. This week at Walgreens to me I thought was a little slower than the previous weeks however there are still some really great deals. I did do one curbside order and then I did I think three different transactions in store. One I did to test to see if the register will reprint. It will not so stay tuned to the end to show that one. So I did do one curbside transaction and went through Rakuten to get 2% cash back. I am not new to Rakuten, so I received the 2%. If you're new to Rakuten, they are currently at $40 cash back. So when you go and do the transaction that I have in the listed in the description below, you will get $40 cash back from Rakuten on top of what you're getting back on Walgreens cash. So it's a great time to get a lot of stuff for free. So if you're new, just click on that link below and fill it out and do that very first transaction. And then you can continue any stores that you buy things online. Most any stores will give you a certain percent cash back. So it's a great way to earn a little extra money. So see my link below to do that. Also below is the printable breakdown. It is going to show you all of the transactions that I am doing today at Walgreens. I have them all broke out. You can go through and figure out the ones that you want to do on the products that you need and then circle those and those are the ones you need to go into the store. Make sure you have the digital snipped onto your account and then just do the transactions. Everything is already put together for you. So I'm only using one rebate app. I am using Ibotta a couple of times today. Again, if you're new to Ibotta, you can click on the link below. I also have a code um, that will give you some cash back for your first time use on it. I love Ibotta. It is cash back and that is why I like it. So let's go on into Walgreens this week and see what deals we have. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go over a Nivea deal. Now, I did do this as a curbside transaction, so stay tuned to the end to see how that plays out. But on um, the curbside transaction, I picked up four of the Nivea body washes. They are buy one, get one half off, and then when you buy two, you're gonna get $5 in Walgreens cash. So I purchased four of those, which totaled $20.98. I used code Nivea for $5 off, got back $10 in Walgreens cash, making your final cost $5.98 or just $1.49 each. We have a sale on the Dove body wash and you can do this on the men's or the women's. They are on sale for $7. When you buy two, it's gonna be $14. You should have a $3 off of two digital. You'll pay 11 and then you're gonna get $2 back in register rewards, making your final price $9 or $4.50 each. We got a deal on the raw sugar products. When you spend $20, you will get $5 in Walgreens cash. Now I did put this scenario together, but now my Ibotta rebates are gone, so I'm gonna keep the receipt. But let me go over it. I did get one of the shampoo and one of the conditioner. They were buy one, get one 25% off. So one was $8.99, the other one was $6.74. And then I purchased one of the body washes here that are $8 dollars and 79 cents so those are the three and i did this as a curbside so those three together comes to 24.52 you'll get the five dollars back in walgreens cash now on ibotta i had two dollars cash back on the shampoo and conditioner and a dollar fifty back on the body wash would have made this 467 each i am going to keep my receipt and check throughout the week to see if that rebate comes back up Okay, and on oral care this week, when you buy two of the Colgates, you'll get $4 in register rewards. I'm gonna pick up this Colgate right here that's $4.50. And on my account, I have a $2 digital. So I'm gonna go down here to the Colgate total. It is on sale for $5.50 and I have a $3 digital. All right, so I'm gonna purchase these two and the total on both of them will be $10. Then you have the $3 and the $2 coming off. You'll pay $5 out of pocket, get the $4 in register rewards, making your final cost $1 or just 50 cents each. 
We have a good deal on the Dove hand soap. They are on sale for $4 each. When you buy two, it cost $8. I have a $4 off of two digital, so your final cost would be $4 or just $2 each. So a few weeks ago, there was a recall on some of the Tide and Gain pods. I think the bags were not sealing correctly, and my store pulled almost all of them and have yet to replenish. If your store has them, you can get a pretty good deal on Gain. This Gain right here, the larger bottle, is on sale for $9.99, and you should have a $3 off of one digital. Then you're going to pick up the larger bag of the Gain pods, also $9.99 with a $3 digital. You'll pay $13.98, but then you're going to get the $5 in register rewards back, making it $8.98 for two, or just $4.49 each. The Tide Simplies are on sale for, for $10 as well as these gain softeners they are four for ten dollars and these boxes of bounce are four for ten dollars and you can mix and match these this finished dish detergent is on sale for 4.99 and then you should have a two dollar digital you can pick up these you buy to kotex they are 11.49 buy one get one half off so the other one will be 5.99 totaling you 17.98 you should have a two dollar off of one digital and then that's for one, you can submit to Shopman for a dollar off of the second one. You'll pay $15.98, you're going to get back a $5 register reward. Then submit to Ibotta, you'll get a dollar fifty back on Ibotta for one of these, and then the dollar back from Shopman, making its final cost $8.48 for two of them. These traditional refried beans are buy one, get one free. If you can pick up three of these, you would buy one, get one free, buy the next one, and then submit to Ibotta for $1.50 cash back on three of those. That works on this and then on this taco kit as well. And then we have the taco seasoning, $1.79, buy one, and get one free. Good time to stock up. Okay guys, we are back in from Walgreens. Everything went well. I am going to go home and show you exactly how the deals were put together. Um, the sweet lady at the cash register had some register rewards and um, a few things that had printed out that people left that she let me use that helped me out some. So I'm gonna show you exactly how we put them together, how much we saved, how much we spent out of pocket, and how much we got back from Walgreens cash, register rewards, and from Ibotta and Shopman to save us some money. All right, I am back in from Walgreens and let's go over each transaction. This was my curbside order. So this was the transaction I did prior to coming into the store and picked up as soon as I got there. So I did the raw sugar deal that I discussed in store, the Dove and the Nevia. And as I said in store, I did have rebates on Ibotta for the raw sugar that are no longer showing. So I'm gonna keep this receipt um, on my desk so that I can keep checking back with Ibotta to see if maybe that rebate comes up to make this deal even better. Everything you see here, the retail value, so if things were not on sale, would have been $64.71. But then with the sales prices, the $5 off for the Nevia, and then the, I think it was $4 off for the Dove bath um, hand soap, my total was $37.06, and that is what I paid, was $37.06. From Rakuten, I got $0.93 cents back because I am already a member, so that's 2% cash back. In Walgreens cash, I received $45.28. Let me show you how I did that. The raw sugar was when you spend $20, you'll get $5, so I did get that. The Nevia was buy two, get $5, so I got two $5, so I got $10 back for the Nevia. And then on my account, I had when you spend $25, you would get $7 in Walgreens cash. And I also had that when you make six purchases, I believe it was, of $40 or more, once you've made those, you will get $25 in Walgreens cash, and I hit that, so I got that as well. So that was $45.28 I got back on this transaction, making everything you see here free and $9.15 moneymaker. Again, hopefully that I bought a rebate will come back this week. And if it does, it will get even more money back. So now let's go over the transactions in store. This was my first in-store transaction. So I did the deal that four for $10 for the laundry. So I did the two tied, the bounce and the gain. I did the toothpaste deal. And then I did the paper towel and 
toilet paper deal. I did not go over that in the store. I don't know why I didn't, but they are buy four, get $5 and register rewards. And each one of them are on sale for $5.49. So when you bought all of those, your total was $21.96. I had a dollar off on the bounty and a dollar off on the Charmin. So I paid $19.96. I did get back $5 in register rewards, making them $3.74 each. Okay, so this was everything. Everything you see here, the retail value would have been $66.90. What my total was that I actually paid out of pocket after the digitals came off, as well as um, the sales prices was $29.96. The cashier did have sitting on her counter, I think it was if you spent 30 or if you spent 40, um, you'd get $7 in Walgreens cash. I was going to pay for this with my Walgreens cash, so I would have a low out of pocket. But since she had that, she went ahead and scanned it just to give me some more back. So I was very appreciative of that. So that gave me $7 back. I got the $5 back for the toilet paper and paper towels. And then I did get the um, four dollars back for the toothpaste making everything you see here thirteen dollars and fifty five cents so that was how much this transaction is now let me show you the next one okay this transaction right here was my mistake so i was almost embarrassed to show you almost decided to pull it out and i said no i want to show you guys that even i make mistakes i coupon at least once or twice a week have for a year i still make mistakes so what the deal is, is if you pick up the Walgreens liners, I think they are a dollar, they're a dollar 29 each, buy one, get one 25% off. So it would cost $2.26. You should have a 30% digital on your account. You'll pay $1.58, then get back $5 in register rewards. I picked up the OEs. I don't know why. I think I just saw the color and I saw the small liners and I thought this was right. I always tell everyone to make sure that you scan your products in store. I was in a hurry today to get back and did not do that. So I did make a, mis a mistake on this and purchased the wrong product. So wanted to show you that, show you I still do make mistakes. These two together cost me $3.58 and I did pay that out of pocket. So just know that um, we still do things wrong. So let me show you the last transaction transaction I actually picked up the correct product. I got the U by Kotex. There were two of these. They were $11.49 for the first one. The second one was 25% off. We did have the $4 digital that came off and the finish and I just needed some Kids Crest toothpaste so I thought I would throw it in this mix. So those four items right there retail value would have been $33.46. I paid out of pocket after the sales prices and the digitals came off. Then I paid $10 from Walgreens cash. I paid $9.51. I did get $1.50 back from Ibotta on the U by Kotex. I got a dollar back on Shop Ma'am and I got $5 back in register rewards, which I have right here to show you. There's the $5 in register rewards. So those items right there cost me $2.01 for that that you see. I'm gonna put everything together now. Okay, everything you see here is what we picked up at Walgreens today. So overall, a pretty good haul, other than the mistake I made with the OEs. <laughs> um, so everything here, the retail would have been $168.65. I paid out of pocket after all the sales prices, the um, digital coupons, the Walgreens cash register rewards that we received back. I paid $32.79, which is an 80% savings on everything you see here. So 80% savings is, I feel like, pretty good, especially on these products. So let me know in the bottom the products that you score at Walgreens this week and if you have any questions.